Nova Pure products are packaged in environments and with materials for the various classifications in which they will be stored and used. As a result, the highest risk to the facility is the first entry of the carton into the classified space, as it has been exposed to unclassified environments. The type and quality of the bags used and the fact that they are applied in similar environments in which they will be exposed in the customer's facility aid the transfer and reduce the risk associated with bringing sterile ready-to-use components to your point of use. The following video will provide guidance on how to transfer NovaPure products from receipt to the Grade A ISO 5 point of use. Please note that the following techniques are recommendations and each customer should develop and follow their own approved procedures according to the facility design and approved qualified practices. This video begins with released product. Please reference the NovaPure incoming release video for guidance on how to perform incoming inspection associated with the release process. The gowning represented in this video is the approved gowning for the facility in which the video was created. Each customer should have defined gowning practices for the various classifications in their facility. The key to transferring from unclassified spaces to the Grade A ISO 5 point of use is control of microbial and particulate contamination. NovaPure packaging has been designed and applied in various classified environments to facilitate transfer of the product from an unclassified storage location to the Grade A ISO 5 point of use. The product depicted in this video is a sterile ready-to-use product. The packaging includes a plastic corrugated carton and a poly bag carton liner. There are two packaging units inside the carton and carton liner. Each unit consists of a heat-sealed tertiary bag that is either polyethylene for serum stoppers or a moisture barrier bag for lyophilization stoppers. Inside the tertiary poly or moisture barrier bag is a double sterilizable bag, often referred to as a steri bag. The primary steri bag containing the components is oriented 90 degrees inside the second steri bag for ease of transfer and reduced risk of cutting the primary bag during opening. Each facility is designed differently, and each customer will have different approved processes. This guidance uses Grade D through Grade A classifications. Additionally, as a result of using non-fibrous packaging materials, the plastic carton is permitted to be transferred to the Grade D area. Most facilities follow a best practice of wiping and cleaning the surfaces of tables, carts, and pass-through areas or material airlocks prior to use. This video depicts a pass-through from a controlled, unclassified space to a Grade D environment being wiped with an approved sanitizer. Customers should follow the approved procedures applicable to their site. When wiping any surface, it is a best practice to wipe in a single direction with overlapping strokes. Start by wiping surfaces adjacent to the cleanest environment, then move to surfaces adjacent to the less clean environment. The outside of the carton represents the greatest risk of particulate and microbial contamination. Cleaning and disinfecting is required when transferring the carton into a grade D environment. Best practice and the guidance depicted in this video show the carton being wiped with 70% isopropyl alcohol. This cleaning step is intended to remove gross particulate and any visible soil. The next step is to disinfect the outer surface. Some customers may use a combination of disinfectants and sporicidals. Best practice recommends at minimum using a sporicidal agent when transferring from unclassified spaces to classified spaces. Most customers will also have defined contact time requirements for use of disinfectants and sporicidal agents. Once the exterior of the carton has been cleaned and disinfected, it can be transferred by way of the pass-through or material airlock to the grade D space. The video depicts wiping of a transfer cart prior to the carton entering the grade D space 
and then being transferred to storage. Although the transfer distance in the video is only a few feet, this step is intended to represent greater distances that many customers will have between the entry point and the storage location. Facility design and approved procedures will define if grade D storage is acceptable. If grade D storage is acceptable, approved procedures should also define whether the components are stored in the cartons or stored after removal from the carton. Best practice suggests that the components should remain in the carton during longer term storage and should be removed when ready for transfer for staging or use in higher classified environments. The carton provides additional protection to the components, and cartons are much easier to store and handle on a longer-term basis. This guidance depicts carton storage in the grade D environment. The carton is then opened at the time the product is ready for transfer to the grade C ISO 8 environment. Some facilities may not have a grade D environment, and may transfer directly from an unclassified or controlled unclassified environment directly to the Grade C ISO 8 environment. Transferring the carton directly to the Grade C environment is not recommended as it represents the greatest risk of contamination to the classified environment. It is also important to note that proper steps should be taken to open and disinfect the double steri bag and poly bag units at the time of transfer. Prior to opening the carton, it should be wiped with an approved solution primarily to reduce any accumulated particulate. Upon opening the carton, the liner can be folded over the flaps to assist with keeping the carton open. This helps to ensure the least amount of manipulation during removal of the double steri bag and poly bag units. It also helps reduce any residual particulate on the carton and outside of the carton liner from being transferred to the packaging units inside. Prior to removing the bags from the carton, we recommend wiping the surface on which the bags will be placed with an approved disinfectant or sanitizer. Once the bags have been removed from the carton, they can either be stored in the grade D environment or the transfer to the grade C environment can continue. This guidance depicts removing bags and transferring directly to the Grade C environment. Prior to transferring the bags to the Grade C environment, the bagged units should be wiped. Although this guidance depicts the use of sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol, it is recommended that this is preceded with a disinfectant or a sporicidal wipe. Although the poly bags are certified clean and are applied in an ISO 7 environment, they are transferred to a controlled, unclassified area for final packaging into the carton and carton liner, where there is greater risk of microbial contamination to the outside of the poly bag. Once the double steri bag and poly bag units have been wiped, and allowing for appropriate contact times if a disinfectant or sporicidal agent is used, they can be transferred to the grade C environment using a pass through, material airlock, or other approved method following the wiping of the transfer unit. The double steri bag and poly bag unit can be stored in the grade C ISO 8 environment, and depending on each customer's facility design, this may be the primary storage area for these items. When it is time to transfer the components to the Grade B ISO 7 environment, the outer surfaces of the poly bag should be wiped and the poly bag removed prior to transfer to the Grade B environment. This demonstration depicts wiping with sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol to remove any accumulated particulate. However, depending on each customer's approved processes and storage time in the Grade C environment, a disinfectant may also be used. A sharp utensil should be used to open the poly bag to reduce the amount of particulate generated as a result of opening the bag. The double steri bag unit can now be transferred to the Grade B ISO 7 environment. This demonstration depicts transfer through a material airlock. 
but some facilities may use a pass-through or other method. The poly bag is certified clean and is applied in an ISO 7 environment following sterilization. As a result, most customers will find it acceptable to transfer the double steri bag unit directly to the grade B entry airlock with only the poly bag removed. At this point, the double steri bag unit can be stored in the grade B environment until use, although most customers will be careful to minimize the storage time in grade B as a best practice. It is important to note that if you are using and transferring components for lyophilization applications, they will be packaged in a tertiary bag which acts as a moisture barrier bag. It should not be removed until the time of use. Lyophilization stoppers should not be stored outside of the moisture barrier bag. As a result, the moisture barrier bag will be transferred to the grade B area or it will be removed in the grade C area and transferred to the grade B area just prior to use. The double steri bags have been applied in an ISO 5 environment to match the environments they will be stored or used in. The outer steri bag should be wiped with an approved sanitizer. Again, it is common to use sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol. After the outer surfaces of the steri bag have been wiped, primarily to reduce any accumulated particulate, the outer steri bag can be opened. Most customers will choose to cut the poly side of the bag with a sharp utensil. In this demonstration, a sterile scalpel is used. Some customers may choose to use sterile scissors or other suitable instruments that may reduce the safety risks associated with personnel injuries. Opening the second steri bag should occur adjacent to the grade A ISO 5 environment and the inner bag should be transferred immediately to the grade A environment once it's removed from the outer steri bag. At this point, the primary bag can be opened and the components dispensed directly to the filling line.